The feedstock was stored and charred at the Kenyan Agriculture and Livestock Organization. Why do we choose the coconuts as a feedstock? Because there is nothing else here. Yeah. For now, that is the it's waste. It's easily available. Coconut fibers are used for textile. We use the shells of the coconuts. They can be sold to industry as a combustible, but their density and oil content make them impractical to burn at home, generates too much smoke and too much heat. Biochar was produced in a conical pit following the method Contiki Flame Curtain. So why do we care about the shape? The shape is very important uh, to allow free movement of hair. It allows for the, for the combustion of uh, of the same gases as it emerged and meet oxygen or just at the surface and then the same gases get combusted then keep the flame on the surface so the conical shape in particular is very important if that is not there then the, the process cannot proceed very well so you need that free flow of, uh, of the same gas getting out as well as oxygen going in and meeting at the surface to keep the flame mm -hmm. The fire was ignited with small branches and dry herbs. Then, dry coconut shells were added continuously on the fire. The process at start was slower than with other feedstocks like pigeon peas or mice waste. But this way, a flame curtain was covering the feedstock at all times. The combustion was quenched or stopped by pouring water on top. The biochar obtained was still very warm. To limit infiltration of oxygen and limit further combustion, the biochar was covered with fabrics and then with soil that was compacted. What are you doing, Vega? Removing the, the soil to find the sacks and then we will have a look at the biochar. We harvested this biochar the day after burning, adding water continuously to prevent from fire ignition. An alternative is to wait several days. Yeah, so now uh, we have removed the, the, the sacks of the soil. So this is the biochar that we produced, total 340 kilos of uh, coconut shells yesterday. And now we will uh, remove it from the kiln and put them in, uh, or put the biochar in, in, in sacks and under a weighing, so we can determine the biochar yield.